All right, this video is meant to demonstrate how to install a NVMe SSD into a Lenovo ThinkPad T470 laptop. And to do this, you'll need a uh, NVMe adapter like this one that'll attach to the motherboard via this cable. And that replaces the regular uh, SATA cable that's normally connected to the hard drive. So first things first, you wanna flip it over I've already taken the battery out, but you want to do that first. And then there are a series of screws on the rear panel that you can take out right here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six screws, which I've already loosened. And you can take something like a sturdy plastic guitar pick to score along the edge in order to lift the back panel off and it should come out quite easily just like that. Just like this. Okay, so. so now that you have the laptop open, as you can see here there is an internal battery and if you haven't already disabled that in BIOS before opening up the case, you can still just unplug it from the motherboard right here. And I'm also going to be installing 16 gigabytes of DDR3 uh, 2400 megahertz RAM. So it'll be a nice little upgrade for this machine. Uh, so this is where the hard drive bay is right here, where you could either put a mechanical hard drive, 2.5 inch, 2.5 inch SSD, or this um, NVMe adapter. So right here, I'll zoom in and it is quite easy to um, install this so that's to make sure it's facing the right direction so there's a little latch right there and you want to make sure that's facing up it's very similar to an LCD panel connection on the motherboard if you're replacing a display so take this and you just want to gently put it in. You just have to gently fit it in this way. And then you can put the little lever. It'll sit right on top of the connection like that. So I'll flip this around. And there should be a little screw in the adapter that will allow you to uh, fasten down the NVMe SSD. Okay, and you just want to line up and insert the NVMe SSD into the adapter here. And then you can fasten it down with that screw. So additionally, this adapter came with this uh, little plate to put on top. And it also has this little uh, thermal strip which is kind of a nice, uh, a nice uh, feature. So there's two screws that'll hold this one in. Okay, and while I have this thing open, I'm going to actually take that RAM stick back out and I'm going to remove the heat pipe right here above the CPU and maybe put some fresh thermal paste on top after cleaning it off. going to boot this up and make sure that I can get into BIOS that the computer will post and that it's recognizing the NVMe and the RAM. All right, so that's a good sign. We're able to get the startup and truck menu. So we'll press F1 to get into BIOS. And that's very excellent to see. 
So there we have the 16 gigabytes of RAM recognized. And this model has the i5-6300U two-core four-thread uh, CPU, which is okay. And there's the Toshiba NVMe SSD 256 gigabytes being recognized, so that's awesome. So I'll uh, just adjust the BIOS settings to make sure everything's okay. And then I'll go ahead and install Windows 10, and then I'll come back with a brief uh, wrap up of the video. All right, so Windows 10 is up and running very well. Um, it's hard for me to say right now how much of a performance boost the NVMe solid state drive is as opposed to the uh, 2.5 inch SATA 3 solid state drive I'd normally install. Uh, but so far it's very fast and snappy and uh, quite responsive. So um, yeah, uh, it's about as good as it gets for this machine, I think. I don't know if uh, it's really worth it to upgrade to more than 16 gigs of RAM. And even with the i7 version of this model, uh, you're still dealing, dealing with a two core, four thread processor. Um, so within the limitations, this is still a pretty cool little laptop. And uh, yeah, that's how you install the NVMe drive as well as the RAM and some light service. All right, so thanks a lot for watching and hopefully this video helped you out.